fishing. Wait a minute, I love this! I chose the Busby Starter Kit in order to standardize my tackle storage loadout. I'm switching from a hodgepodge of different boxes to six identical boxes. They come with a plethora of different size trays that should accommodate all of my tackle, or at least most of it. The modularity of this system is what really sold me. Being able to customize my layout is huge. And being able to swap trays in and out should make my fishing prep much easier, quicker, and way more enjoyable. We've got some propaganda. Comes with a couple stickers. These boxes are incredibly strong. They're made with marine grade stainless steel, polycarbonate, and ballistic polymers. I have a real hard time imagining how I could ever break one. These boxes are also waterproof. They have a watertight seal around the entire lid. This is especially important to me because I fish a lot of salt water and most of the time my gear gets wet. I want to protect my expensive tackle from moisture and rust. In addition to being waterproof, the Busby boxes have a rust prevention feature built into the material that it's made out of. This kit comes with six boxes and 43 customizable bins. We've got the third box, we've got the fourth box, fifth, and sixth box. So this is what comes in the Busby Colony 15 starter kit. You have four separate boxes preloaded with the bins, a two by two, two one by ones, three one by twos, and one one by three. You also have two open containers and some included bins, two two by twos, two one by fours, two one by threes, three one by twos, and six one by ones. So you can customize the loadout of any of these tackle boxes by swapping the bins back and forth. The design of the Busby system looks to be very good at locking your compartments from spilling their contents into the other compartments. Isolating each compartment and preventing your tackle from moving around during transport. Another huge feature is Busby's claim that these boxes float. There are some other waterproof boxes that would probably float, but they don't claim to do so. And knowing that I could probably retrieve my tackle if it goes overboard, it's gonna make me way more comfortable while I'm out on my kayak. The Busby boxes are really awesome, but nothing in this world is perfect, and neither is the Busby tackle management system. My first minor issue is that it was kind of difficult for me to snap the bins into place. I had to use a lot more force than I was expecting in order to completely seat the 1x4 bins into the box, especially the first few. As I filled the colony box with more bins, it did become more rigid and the bins got easier to install. And placing the box on a flat surface while building your layout does help a bunch. The edges of these bins are wide. The usable volume of the boxes decreased significantly, about 18%. The decreased volume is a high price to pay, but it's a price that I'm personally willing to pay in exchange for the modularity of this system. And being able to use the bins to transfer tackle from one bin to another is also very nice. No more having to dig out your tackle with your fingers no more dirty fingers from the lead, no more getting hooked. The Busby boxes are heavy. As they come preloaded, they weigh almost a pound and a half, outweighing regular Plano 3600 boxes by almost a pound, and even weighing five ounces more than the Plano Edge with all the dividers. This is kind of a big one for me. If I'm going to be covering a lot of ground, I may choose a lighter option. They're also a little taller than the standard 3600. That slight difference means that I can fit four Colony 15s into my Cast King tackle bag, but getting them out of the bag is troublesome. I had to substitute one of my four Colony 15 boxes for a standard size 3600 box in order to easily access my tackle trays. And lastly, they are not cheap. This kit in October of 2021 is $179. I subscribed and saved 10% on the Busby website. The kit ended up costing me $161 and some change. Considering these few drawbacks, I still really like these boxes. 
and I'm very much looking forward to creating my own custom tackle layouts. If you're interested in getting one of these kits for yourself, I have included a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if this is the kind of content that you like, please consider subscribing. I've been Jay West, Tight Lines. I hope to see you on the water.